metazoan metabarcoding is emerging as an essential strategy for biodiversity inventory. Diverse projects are currently generating massive quantities of community-level biodiversity inventory data, often for fractions of biodiversity that have been previously difficult to work with. The potential for integrating across such independently generated datasets offers new opportunities to better understand biodiversity and how it might respond to global change. However, downstream syntheses across independently generated datasets may be compromised if metabarcoding workflows being implemented differ from each other. Guidance for the implementation of effective and robust metabarcode data generation is both timely and essential. A harmonized framework with a modular structure for data generation could offer a pathway to navigate the complex structure of terrestrial metazoan biodiversity. Each fraction of terrestrial diversity would be at the core of each module, for example, terrestrial arthropods, and within such a framework, best practices and harmonized protocols for metabarcode data generation would be developed. Submodules within each module can serve as the fundamental building blocks that provide guidelines and recommendations for the five steps that comprise metabarcode data generation. Sample acquisition, sample processing, DNA extraction, amplification, library preparation and sequencing effort, and DNA sequence and metadata deposition. Within this framework, different data generation pipelines can be configured within a module by choosing among submodule options. We provide an initial set of submodules covering the five main steps of metabarcode data generation to constitute the backbone for a terrestrial arthropod module. These submodules have been developed through our collective expertise as practitioners of metabarcoding, method developers, and researchers who are leading metabarcoding initiatives to inventory terrestrial arthropod biodiversity. Terrestrial Arthropods Module Step 1 Sample Acquisition Malay's Trapping Sample Acquisition Submodule To date, most implementations of whole organism community DNA metabarcoding are malaise trap based. Malaise traps are primarily effective for sampling flying insects and have gained popularity for assessing terrestrial arthropod communities. The key guidelines and recommendations for harmonizing sample acquisition are Town style malaise trap, 165 by 110 centimeters interception area, one week per sample, propylene glycol as collecting fluid. Trap should be positioned centrally within the habitat patch perpendicular to natural flight corridors for arthropods, and they should include spatial and temporal replicates. The recording of sampling event metadata should include geographical coordinates, date and period of trapping, photo recording of the habitat and microhabitat, any extreme weather events during trapping. Finally, sample storage should be in greater than 95% mole grade ethanol, Ensure that biomass is fully submerged. Be at minus 20 degrees. Pitfall Trapping Sample Acquisition Submodule While malaise trapping is notably efficient for aerially active arthropods, pitfall trapping offers a complementary passive and effective method for sampling ground active arthropods. A submodule has been developed within the sample acquisition step to harmonize sampling with pitfall traps. The guidelines are Use plastic cups with a diameter of 11 centimeters, a depth of 9 to 11 centimeters, and a protective roof at least 1.5 centimeters above the traps. One week per sample. Propylene glycol collection fluid. Generate composite samples. Four pitfall traps arranged in a square with side 25 meters long. Spatial and temporal replication is very recommended. The recording of sampling event metadata should cover geographical coordinates, date and period of trapping, photo recording of the habitat and microhabitat, any extreme weather events during trapping. Finally, sample storage should be in greater than 95% mole grade ethanol, ensure that biomass is fully submerged, be at minus 20 degrees. Step two, sample processing. Arthropod Community Sample Processing Submodule. Within this submodule, we propose a minimum set of procedures to be undertaken for the arthropod samples prior to DNA extraction 
with the following guidelines and recommendations. Measure sample wet mass weight using 2UM nylon filtration fabric. Photographic record of the sample, including a white background. Photographic scale with the sample submerged in ethanol. Minimize size sorting. Perform random or directed selection of reference specimens for individual DNA extraction and barcoding. Step 3. DNA Extraction Arthropod Community Sample DNA Extraction Submodule In this submodule, we focus on harmonizing sample DNA extraction for whole organism community DNA metabarcoding. The guidelines and recommendations associated with sample digestion are the following. No physical homogenization step. Use high volumes of digestion buffer. Perform long digestion, shaking. Regarding the purification of DNA extracts, use 200 UL of digestion buffer. Chiagen DNEZ blood and tissue type protocols. Negative controls and technical extraction replicates are very recommended. Finally, for purified DNA storage, the following are important. Biobanking of DNA aliquots. Use minus 80 degrees or minus 20 degrees non-defrosting freezers. Step four, amplification, library preparation and sequencing. Arthropod community sample DNA amplification, library preparation and sequencing submodule. Within this submodule, we focus on harmonizing DNA amplification, library preparation and sequencing procedures for whole organism community metabarcoding. Guidelines and recommendations for target DNA fragments and primers are Focus on the mtDNA COI locus Maximize overlap with the BC3 fragment Use degenerate primers Regarding PCR conditions Minimize the number of PCR cycles Perform dilution of DNA extracts Use non-proofreading TAC Pull PCR replicates, minimum of three Include negative controls Include technical PCR replication. Include cross-contamination control practices. Perform the two-step protocol for library preparation. Step 5. Metadata and DNA sequence sharing and storage. Arthropod Community Sample Metadata and DNA Sequence Sharing and Storage Submodule. Finally, within this submodule, we focus on harmonizing metadata and DNA sequence data sharing and storage. The essential guidelines and recommendations are Complete the Terrestrial Arthropods Metabarcoding Module Template GEOME Spreadsheet and attach it to publications Perform a GEOME metadata submission and include the reference in publications Upload raw read data SRA, including the reference in the publication We advocate adopting and developing the Terrestrial Arthropod Module that we propose here as an essential step toward harmonizing metabarcoding data, we further encourage the development of modules for other biodiversity fractions that are appropriate targets for whole organism community metabarcoding. It is time to work together to provide broader benefits for biodiversity science through harmonization.